What's up guys, Dan Skin 1711, the best damn thing in gaming around. Yeah, I'm going back to the old one because I don't really do DBS anymore. <laughs> but, I'm coming at you live with a brand new deck profile. I know it's been a minute. I've been a little busy, but when National is now over, schedule's kind of freed up a little bit. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Today's deck profile is a deck that I've been really enjoying lately. It's a deck that catches people off guard because they're not really prepared for it. Uh, really good at your rogue matchup right now. And it's really good. It, people are actually sleeping on this deck. And this is why I want to bring a little bit more light to it. The deck today that I'm talking about, Machine Dramon. Let's get in. Alright, now that we're at the tabletop view... Let's get right into the thing, starting off with our Digitamas. We are running four copies of the best boy, Pagumon. Uh, on deletion, you just look at the top card, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a black Digimon, it comes to your hand. If it's not, it goes to the bottom of your deck. So pretty much like the Tentalmon from green, but it has an egg and then black. So, good way of actually getting a few extra resources to your hand when you need them. And there are a few times where we'll be swinging with our rookies, just to deal a little poke damage, and if they, if they die, it's not that big of a deal. So, for Pagu, basically the best generic black egg in the game right now. Uh, moving on to our level 5s, or level 6s I should say, because we're going to go with things a little out of order, might as well, because we all know the big boss monster of the deck, and that is our boy, Machine Dramon. We do run the full four copies of it, and why not? Because he is such an amazing card. Twelve costs to play, so you need to be at least two on your side to actually play it. Then on play, you add to the bottom of this card up to five level five cyborgs in red or black. And for each one you add, you gain a memory back. Then on all turns, you see he cannot be reduced. And, all turns, if this card would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can remove two sources from him, or two level five sources from him, specifically, and he could not be del deleted. So, you might be asking, but we do actually have one other level six in the deck that we run, and that is one copy of Gundramon. And now, why do we run the Gundramon, you might be asking? Well, because, A... It is a level 6. And it happens to be a level 6 machine. You'll see that with some of the inheritables on the level 5s, being a level 6 machine is actually very important. On top of that, it helps us fill our grave, our trash with, with his on digivolving effect. This is only one target for his, for his option effect that we, can, that we run in the deck. So he's a good way to fill our graveyard, or trash, and he's a machine that works with a bunch of the other inheritables that we have in the deck. Moving on to the level 5s. Make sure I got them all here. Yep, okay. We'll start things off with two copies of Metal Tyrannomon. We'll we also have two copies of Andro, and two copies of Metal Mamion. Now, why am I doing all three of these together? Well, because they all have similar when digivolving effects. They all say you may reveal the top three cards of your deck and grab a level six machine from among them. Which is really good because it gets you any one of your level sixes. And then they also have, each have a different inheritable. Metal Tyrannomon, when it's, when it's under a machine type, gives it a uh, reboot. Andermon, the same thing for re for with Blocker. And Metal Man Mon says when, um, when attacking, it pops something with a play cost of 5 or less. So, these are two really good, good cards to give it, to give you Blocker, it gives you Reboot, gives you re board removal. And the fact that Machine Demon needs to have five different card numbers under him when he uses his effect, Having a variety of things that give like the same effects or similar effects is going to help your deck a lot. 
Moving on with the level 5s, we also run two copies of the EX1 Mega Dramon. This one says that if he is under a machine, she can get security attack plus 1, which is amazing. But it also has on play, delete one of your opponents, uh, delete up to two of your opponents they draw on with 3,000 DP or less. So it's a really good deterrent against Rookie Rush. Now, it being red and not being able to, and not, with it only being red, you would not be able to go into Gundramon off of this, but you still can Digivolve into your Machine Dramon off of it, because Machine Dramon is red or black. And you don't have the one source then, but if you just need the draw, it's not that bad of a, of a play to do. But we're mainly using him in here for his Inheritable. The last level 5 that we run more than one of is two copies of Rise Greymon. We're mainly using him here again for the inheritable, which is if you have a tamer on swing, uh, reduce one of your opponent's Digimon by 2k. It comes up every once in a while, mainly against memory blockers such as Madoka Betamon or Gazimon, because all the memory blockers like those guys happen to be 2k or less. So this gets rid of them very, ins very easily. And it doesn't ha need to ha be under a machine. It can be under anything when you do it. It just happens that we just run machines. The last of the level 5s we run are one of each. Being Metal Greymon. This one is more... Is a little bit more flexible than the Mega Duran. In the fact that it's when attacking. You can pop something with 4k DP or less. And... Is inherited while it works for both Machine and Dragonkin. And it gives them piercing. So this could also go under, say, a War Greymon. But that, we're using this right here. We also have one copy of BT6. Or is it? Yeah, BT6 Mega Dramon. Because it's both red and black. And during your turn, it gets, we get plus 2000 power. Not bad. One copy of Volcano Mon. Uh, gives them, us a security attack plus one if they have something that's unsuspended. Which, against, like, say, Lord Nightmon, really good because they're most likely going to have something unsuspended. One starter deck Mecha Dramon, just to give us another source of blocker. And one BT6 Giga Dramon, which gives us plus 2000 DP on our opponent's turn, making our Machine Dramon just a little bit more beefy. Next, let's talk about the level 3s in the deck. Okay. Let's talk about level 3s in the deck next. Obviously, we're going to run the, the standard 4 copies of Hagurimon. On play, you discard a Cyborg or Machine-type Digimon from your hand, and you draw a tail. So, it's a really good way to cycle your hand. It's a net zero on hand size, but the fact that you're getting a body on board and getting rid of, say, a level 5 to the trash where you want it for your machine to mine to get another draw, another card in the end, really good. And it's, like, staple in the deck, so. Up next, we also run three copies of Chikurimon. Uh, this is something that we can digivolve our Pokemons into, as well as being a really good bomb in security, whereas if they hit, do hit this in security, they will it'll digivolve one of the Digimon by one stage. Really good against Jessmon, really good against Gabu Bond, really good against Agu Bond. Lot, good against a lot of decks in general. The last rookie we do run is three copies of Chumon. We do have our own memory blocker in the deck. Really good against stuff that uses memory boosts. Uh, really good against blue in general. Um, so yeah card is amazing. You definitely want to run these in your deck no matter what. Because memory blockers are very important in the meta right now. And moving on to level 4s now. I know we got it a little out of order, but we do run 3 copies of Gardramon. This is, has the same stat lines as the Gardramon of old. Except for the fact that it also has the inheritable that says when you 
At, when attacking, you can discard a cyborg or machine from your hand to draw two. And this is just more more hand filtering. It actually is a plus one on hand size because you're not you're doing it when you attack as an inhibitable rather than on play. So you dr discard one, draw two. I'll say this right now. The draw power in this deck is phenomenal. We also run three copies of Dark Tyrannomon. Just a standard one one cost blocker in the deck. Helps out a lot when you want to choke your opponents. So, really good card. And last but not least, we do run two copies of Mechanorimon. Mechanorimon is just such a, an amazing card in the format right now. Stops a lot of the rookie rush strategy, stops uh, bonds that want to swing early with their rookies. Um, just on a lot of things right now. And the fact that we can pump him up in power with a couple of our tamers makes him that much more deadly. We do run one level 7 in the deck, that is Omnimon Zwart. Just the fact that we can bounce. We can digivolve over our Machine Dramon, swing with this, and then bounce our Machine Dramon back to our hand to reuse it later is amazing. And the fact that, also the fact that it's 15k, not a lot is going to be surviving against that. And it helps us spread our board out a little bit. So, really good card in the deck. Moving on to the Tamers in the deck, we do run two copies of Tai Kamiya. He is our memory tamer of, in the deck, and the fact that he pumps up all our black Digimon by 1,000 by one thousand during our opponent's turn is such, it's just so helpful. And just being able to start at 3 every turn makes it so that we guarantee be able to drop a machine to mom whenever we want. We also run three copies of Analog Youth. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck, grab one Digimon from among them, send the rest to your trash. So this can help us grab our Machine Dramas, can help grab us our Harguri Mons if we need them. Pretty much anything with, that we need within those top three, we can grab with this. And then, the rest goes to the trash, which we want more stuff in our trash anyway, for when we drop out a Machine Dramon to keep our hand size big. On top of that, all turns when one of your Digimon is the leader that's level 5 or higher and has a source. You can tap him to gain a memory and hatch an egg if you have a free open spot. He's mainly in here though for the for the filtering with the on play. Now we do run a few options in the deck, starting off with four copies of Ultimate Connection. This is our hammer spark of the deck. In that we pay one and ditch a level five. We gain two memory and we get a draw. So it's literally hammer spark in the deck, and the fact that, uh, if it's, and the fact that if it gets hit in security, you get the activate main as well. So really good. We do run two copies or one copy each of Iron Fist Onslaught and Jwart Swarmer. These are our main removal options, other than just swinging into stuff or the Metal Mammon. This helps against things that like have a lot of big guys of the same level, like say Lord Nightmon. Um, it can pop a lot of things. Anything that's the highest play cost on their board. If, uh, and if it, there's multiple things that have the same play cost at the highest, it gets rid of all of them. Really good card. Short Swarmer gets rid of anything on both set boards that's seven play cost or less. And it's one, the only option in our deck that we can hit off of the Gundramon. And I actually have had this happen a couple times. Where I've hit this off of Gundramon. And it feels so good. Especially if they have a bunch, a wide board of, of little dudes. This card is amazing. Alright, and that's the deck guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, in the, leave them down below. Uh, make sure you also hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out a lot right now. And yeah. Um, until next time, guys. I'm not sure what deck I'll be doing next. But until next time, keep it classy.